Hi guys, my name is Maggie. I am a closet organizer as well as stylist based in Toronto. You can find me on Instagram at EssentialStylingCO. About a month ago, I posted a video that did really well and I got so many new subscribers. So thank you guys so much. It means the world to me that you guys are here and thank you for subscribing to my channel. Make sure to leave a comment down below so I can say hi. One of my new subscribers actually commented a couple of closet that I should react to. Her name is Christina in color. Thank you so so much hey girl <laughs> thank you so much for recommending this video to me I am super excited to do it today we're gonna react to Monroe Steel New York closet because I know she did move to Miami and I'm so excited to see that closet but if you don't know about Monroe Steel you should know about her she is a stunning influencer based in New York she does everything from fashion from travel from beauty you name it she does it and I was super excited to do this video we're gonna react to a video that she posted about 11 months ago where she kind of walked us through her dream closet or her closet tour again as always I'm gonna leave the full link to her actual video in the description box below make sure you head to her YouTube channel subscribe like and leave her a comment telling her I sent you because that would be so awesome and also I'm gonna link her Instagram in the description box below as well make sure you go there and follow her on Instagram and as always if it's your first time here welcome feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel like this video and at the end of the video let me know what would you want to see next whose closet should I react to next and how did you like this video and don't forget to share the video with everyone that you know that would mean the word to me so without further ado let's get into this video I'm just gonna pause you there if you have been living under a rock this color that she's wearing it's so spring pink and orange pink and nude that's the color of spring but she looks stunning she's so beautiful so let's keep going hello everyone Monroe still here from fashion still NYC and welcome back to my channel do not forget to like and subscribe if you love fashion beauty lifestyle and travel content today i am doing a much requested closet tour i mean the sun just decided to come out and i am here for it still trying to get that vitamin d while in social isolation anywho there is a whole video down in the home decor section if you're looking for information about how i got this closet built how much time it took how much it cost all of those things can be found in that video i also did a corresponding blog post linking everything that's here in my closet from the rug to little items that i have my desk my mirrors little knickknacks that i have around everything is linked in that blog post but i wanted to do a little update and kind of do like a review of the IKEA PAX closet system which is what I have here it's the IKEA PAX closet system so we're just gonna move forward straight into the closet tour uh, but again I'm gonna link the full video in the description box make sure you go to her YouTube channel like follow subscribe and also leave her a comment lot of space for shoes because I have a ton of shoes and I love how it came out and that shoes are on both ends of like where I keep a lot of my main decorative things. The great thing about these shoe pieces is that they all roll out like that and I had that custom built that way so that they would be able to come out so I can have easy access to them. I love that. Usually how I like plan what's on the shelves is that I put the shoes that I wear the most at arm level like these and these are the ones I reach for the most. The ones I wear the least usually go up at the top and then all of my tall boots are down at the bottom and you can kind of create a space of height however big or small you want if I want it I could move these shelves down but I wanted them to have enough height to hold all of my tall boots so that's what I did on both ends 
First, I like how she's talking about the IKEA packs. The IKEA pack system, it's one of the most customizable closet that you can get without ruining the walls, especially if you're renting. It's a great going into her closet just by looking at her shoes. I love the fact that the rollout trays, she added those inside because I think that's a very clever way to add more storage or more organization space when you already have limited space. So it's such a great way that she decided to do the rollout trays because that way she can actually double organize or double expose her shoes and utilize a lot of space at the same time I like that and I also like the fact that she was talking right the shelf are adjustable by height so I like that part so let's keep going pretty much gonna keep my boots out all season long because I built the shelves to house them so this is where they will live until it's time to pull them out again in the fall and a few other pairs of shoes that I love so much are these Marco DiVincenzo pumps that I picked up from the Real Real. These Provenza Schooler sandals with a checkered print. I have all of my Chanel Pearl Mules here. Both of these are wings. These are one of my favorite pair of Giambito Rossi fur sandals. Love these. And up here, a lot of you asked me about these because I posted a picture on my Instagram of these Bryant Atwood pom-pom sandals. You guys, these are like one of my favorite pairs of shoes of all time. I have some Aquazuras here, some Altuzuras there, another pair of Wangs, some Proenzas. I'm kind of weird about keeping all of my shoe boxes. If you watch my spring and summer shoe collection video, you already know that. I keep a lot of my shoe boxes. What I plan to do in the upcoming weeks is all of my booties and kind of like fall winter shoes, I'm gonna put them back in their perspective boxes and bring out more of my summer and spring shoes to take their place. So if we come down here, these are a few shoes that I wear often and so I kind of leave them out so I can literally just slide my foot right into them and go. Most of these are my Bottega shoes. So these will probably replace some of these like boots and booties that I will not be wearing during the spring and summer when I put those away. I also just like to keep my Chanel slingbacks here because I always forget that I have them. And then down here, I usually keep my most reached for shoes that I wear most often because this is also a slide out. Right now it's composed of all of like my favorite spring and summer shoes. I have been wearing these Lulu's Mules into the ground. <laughs> all of these shoes are featured in my most recent spring and summer shoe haul. So if you're interested in details, check out that video. So she definitely is a shoe girl. She loves her shoes. And I was like, where are the flats? But I think she just honestly enjoy wearing high heels and there's nothing wrong with that I love the pull-out trays that she has un underneath I think that's very accessible and very functional because that's where she can press up quickly and just pull the tray out and put on her shoes and go I think that's very clever it's a great way to utilize extra space especially with someone who has that many shoes and I also do like the fact that she stated you know all the boxes that she does have she usually store all of her seasonal shoes in there and I think that's a very clever way and that's a great way to utilize space when you have limited space I don't think she needs all the boxes for storage but I get it I think it's great that she's utilizing those boxes as storage because that's exactly what I would have done but so let's keep going below that video I also just keep these Louis Vuitton bomb dia slides here because I can slide them on in case I quickly need to run downstairs to get a package or check the mail and all of my combat boots well not all of them but a few of them are here because I'm still wearing those into spring and summer with like dresses and mini skirts. I was thinking and I was just like, oh, like does she even need all these shoes out? Especially because it's COVID and we're all staying home. But I think obviously she is a blogger, she's an influencer, so she's consistently creating content. So she dress up even when she's at home quite often. So I think that's why she also has all her shoes out. I'm just wondering if those boxes up there are completely empty because if so, she doesn't have to keep her boots on the floor and collect dust. She can easily just store them inside of boxes. 
this so that way one it eliminates clutter and two she's utilizing the space and the storage correctly but I think also she is just a very visual person if she doesn't see it she probably won't wear it so she likes to take all her stuff out for the season and then once the season changes then she store them into the boxes so that's just one thing that I'm keeping in mind so go on, let's keep going I said I keep a lot of my shoe boxes up here at the top as you can see I have Balenciaga shoe box I have a Chanel bag that has a box inside another Balenciaga Chanel Celine all of these bags have shoe boxes inside of them so I'm actually going to get up here and show you guys how I organize the area above my closet system. Up here is where I store a few of my favorite bags as decoration, like this Stodd bag that was a gift from my friend Rose Dadu Chic on YouTube and Instagram if you're interested. And then I have my white Stodd bag here. I love keeping all of my Chanel bags and things. I'm going to move that out of the way. So I can show you how I organize. So up here is where I store all of my designer shoe boxes. I have Bottega, Balenciaga, Noose, Alexander Wang, tons and tons of shoe boxes that, that I like to keep to make it easier whenever I have to like move. So as you can see, I have all of my designer shoe boxes and then I just cleverly cover them up with like the bigger boxes and with bags. I think that's a great way to kind of show off some of your things but also have storage that doesn't look horrible. <laughs> As you can see um, so I have a couple things to say about that. <laughs> First, I completely agree with her when she said, you know, this is a great way for her to store shoes when the season comes where she doesn't need to wear boots per se. It's also a great solution for moving. I totally agree. But I simply don't think she needs every shoe box to be kept because obviously when you buy designer things, most of them comes with dust bags. I think dust bags are enough. In my opinion, I don't think you need to keep the shoe box itself. I think you can simply pull your shoes in a dust bag and put them into a suitcase and obviously properly package them. Um, they will still be fine. They're not going to get damaged. Simply because keeping all the shoe boxes as you know beautiful as it may be it kind of adds to the clutter uh, and for someone like me that would be a lot but then for some others that's not the case at all but i get it instead she can keep a couples but then she can also display all of her beautiful bags but i don't think you should display things to cover up behind or cover up the mess because once you cover up the mess you never get to the actual mess but i get it by just putting bigger boxes at the top and covering things with like bags, it looks way more organized instead of seeing a bunch of boxes up there. And the same is true for this side. Let's see if I move this ceiling box. You can see I have several shoe boxes back there. Some of these boxes actually have shoes in them, probably boots that I'm not wearing right now. And so that's a way. And just to point out, like she said, some of the boxes have shoes and I completely understand. And also another thing is she probably one day want to buy a bigger house. So she will have a bigger closet that she can keep all the shoe boxes that she has. And nothing's wrong with that. I just think for this specific space, we don't need all the boxes. You can always use your bags as decoration as well as storage. And here I've kind of done the same thing. This is usually my shelf for bags, but I put a few of my favorite little boxes. So if I move these things out of the way, I have quite a bit of space for bags. And this is just where I store some of my more decorative bags. This is my Louis Vuitton, my Colt Gaia bags here. This one is super, everybody knows this bag. This one is also Colt Gaia. I love these for vacation. And once the weather warms up, I also like to put my very big floppy hats in this area as well. But for now, we will just keep it clean and cute. First of all, I didn't know Colt Gaia was Colt Gaia. I always used to say Colt Gia. God, I've been saying it wrong all this time. I feel so embarrassed. You guys don't know how many times I've said it. Colt Gia, Colt Gia. 
no, you got it wrong, girl. Going back to the organization, first of all, those basket bags are beautiful. I don't know about Monroe. I would actually prefer to see those bags on display. Those bags are gorgeous. Girl, if you're selling them, let me know. I love those bags. <laughs> so let's get into this middle piece. I have a few boxes and right now I love, love, love this Colt Gaia hat. I have one of my favorite Vogue covers from Rihanna here like ugh. but here I had this little jewelry tree that I used to hang jewelry on but now I just hang miscellaneous headbands and then I have my perfume collection here in this little tray that I got from Shopbox. These little built-ins they do come out as you can see they're interchangeable I could move them down if I wanted, but I wanted an area for long necklaces, an area for my rings, an area for like more bigger jewelry, and just like another little area. And it worked out pretty well. Let's get into the second compartment. The second compartment is an exact replica of the first one we just seen, but I keep all of my sunglasses here. Maybe I'll do a sunglass collection video even though I don't feel like I have too many. In the front, I usually put the pairs that I wear the most. I'll only keep a few because they take up too much space. And then over here, we have a few of my watches. I don't often wear a watch, but I think I need to get back into it. Pretty much it for this second drawer. I can also change these out if I wanted to put all solid drawers or all glass drawers. I just like being able to show off a few of my favorite brands. Let's get into these next two little areas here where I have a ton of my favorite little boxes. I love NARS. Like their packaging is insane. So I like to keep a lot of their boxes. So let's open this up and see what's inside. In this first see-through drawer I keep a lot of my purses so I like to put like my boxes in front so it looks nice and uniform because if you could see straight into this I feel like it's too messy and we're gonna move down here so in this drawer I have more purses these take up a lot of space. So the two drawers that she pulled out that she had purses, I understand the idea of having, you know, the designer boxes up front so that way it kind of conceals the back. But like I always say, we never want to conceal the back. Um, she actually has really beautiful small purses that she can actually put on display. If she doesn't want it to feel or look cluttered, one is to declutter. She can declutter some of the ones that she's now using by selling. And another thing she can also do, merchandise or display all of her purses by color. She can have all the blacks up top and all of the creams and the colors on the second drawer or the clutters. She just reorganized how she has her whole IKEA pack system. So instead of having shoes on both ends, she can just have shoes on one side of them and on the other side she can just get risers so that way she can display or merchandise her purses to match almost the same similar aesthetic of the shoes on the opposite side and that can be done by color. I think that will free up the drawer for her so that way she can better utilize those drawers for other things because when you're running in limited space you have to be very strategic on how you're utilizing every corner of your closet and decluttering will do her really well all right so let's move on to these drawers here <laughs> this is pretty boring inside of this huge jacquemus bag i have a ton of bathing suits and beach kind of like outerwear, like beach cover-ups and sarongs. Inside of this Celine bag, I have a ton of other bags. So you know all of those little dust bags. And so I keep a fair amount of these for when I travel. Over in this area, I just have a few hats, like this cool one from And Other Stories, this paper bag hat from the H&M collection thing. So I made it apparent when I put this closet together that I wanted a junk drawer or an, an important paper drawer or business drawer and that is this last drawer here. This is my business drawer. So as a YouTuber and a blogger I need tons and tons and tons of these memory cards and so I order them in bulk from Amazon and I keep them here 
Like every other creative I know, I have a ton of notebooks. Inside of this little Bottega pouch, I have a ton of like cords to connect to my computer, to my camera, to recharge things. So I just like to keep those hidden away in like a little bag so it's more organized. These are things that I'm doing with brands, this, this, and this. So I need easy access to them. Over here, I have a few old editions of Steel Magazine. Like you guys, this is from 2014. You can read the digital issues for free online so her junk drawer i like the fact that she did stay when she was customizing this wardrobe or this pack system that was something that she had in mind is to create a junk drawer where she can keep all of her business stuff and as she mentioned as a creator she needs a space where she can keep all of her things and i completely get it listen i think if it's planned for then it makes sense if it's not planned for and the drawer become a junk drawer then that's where we kind of have a problem obviously she has this space for it so i I don't see why not. I like the fact that she mentioned she used her dust bags to store more things like bikinis, her bikini covers, and the other dust bags. She keeps all of the other dust bags in for traveling. Like I was mentioning earlier, you don't necessarily need a box. You can just keep the dust bags because it will protect your shoes the same. So in terms of that functionality, I think she has it hands down. If you don't have that option and you're limited in space, definitely just utilize a basket next to your desktop. It will serve you the same purpose we're here so this is where I keep things that I want to wear and need to wear I like to start it off with my slip dresses so all of my slip dresses are here and then it kind of folds into my knit dresses and then into like my sleeve dresses and then we kind of get into skirts and then we get into my pants all of my favorite denim jeans. I go from dresses to skirts to trousers and then like kind of cargo pants. And down below is where I keep my denim jeans. Now this is pretty cool because look that actually comes out to make it easier to separate from these things at the top. Bags that I reach for most frequently. So right here I have this little round hook that I love and I have a few bags and accessories here. Wardrobe, I have just tons of pants and skirts and things. And then I just re-wear my tops. One of my favorite tops is this polka dot one. And then another favorite of mine is this Ellery top. It's like white off the shoulder. And then I have a ton of these like cream, like button ups. This one's kind of see-through. This is my favorite linen top from H&M, oversized denim jackets. This one's from Nasty Gal, this pink one. And this one's from Boohoo. This gray one was featured in a recent video. Literally, you just pull it out and then it swivels. So I love that in case I need to do like a quick makeup application and natural light. I get a lot of natural light in this room. And then on the back here, let me actually, because I can swivel this all the way out. I have this little bag that I keep my satin head wraps in. The ones that I like to wear for fashion, not the ones that I wear to bed. So I just keep them all in here. And there's also space for me to add like necklaces and jewelry here as well. If you're a guy, you can hang ties. So love that little feature. If you know me, you know how much I talk about matching hangers and how useful and how it makes your closet look so neat and put together. And I think in this case, definitely having matching hangers would definitely help improve her closet because obviously we can tell there's tons of different hangers that she's using to organize. So I always, always stress you should invest in some matching hangers. It will save you space. It will keep your clothes organized and your closet looking properly organized and help with the functionality of your closet every closet deserves to have a system and I think matching hangers does play a huge part in it she has her dresses and you can tell her dresses are so long that they're kind of going all the way where she has her pants and I think that just could be easily fixed by the way she's hanging her dresses so instead of her hanging her dresses fully length is the easiest way to do it is just to tuck your dresses inside instead so that way none of her dresses they're not gonna be reaching where the pants are and they're not gonna get ruined every time she 
pulls out the pants wrap that's such an easy way to prolong the longevity of your clothes then she has the hook where she hangs purses that can easily be taken out once she has decluttered all of her other purses like I mentioned earlier I always go from tops to bottoms because that's how I dress you put on your top first then I put on my bottoms so that way the process is seamless just by those little tweaks I think those can really help improve the aesthetic of her closet and make her closet look very organized all right, love, so let's get into these two drawers. These are like my clothing drawers. I have a lot of tops, shirts. I have these two bags here that I got from Amazon, the pouch bags. I'll link these down below. They are the Bottega Veneta dupes of the pouch bag. These are all of my teeny tiny shirts because I wear a lot of crop tops, a lot of tank tops in the spring and in the summer. My favorite t-shirts are here. This is the Frankie Shop t-shirt and a few other t-shirts. Teeny tiny tops there. Teeny tiny tops. <laughs> These bags are on top and then I just have a few more of my favorite shirts and things. This is more of like a summer spring drawer because I recently switched everything over. So let's close that. And then here in this drawer we have kind of like transitional things from winter to spring or spring to summer. So I still have some knits. This is a dress that I got recently from and other stories just a sweater or two just in case some long sleeve shirts and more knits here this here is a little area for like all of my skirts my black skirts this is the drawer I reach for eventually I'm gonna replace all of that with like my summer stuff when it gets warm enough for me to transition out of some of this fall winter type things so on this side of my closet but I like this because if I'm getting ready in here I have a full-size mirror to see my outfit my Celine bag this is my cow packs marble suitcase I also have a smaller one that's inside of there for whenever outside opens back up I'm gonna be ready to travel is another closet chalk full to the brim of stuff like chalk full guys so on the top I have like my summer hats my summer bags you can see a few of my summer like vacation -y bags there I have all of my sweaters up there I just moved some of my things over so I have a lot of like my summer stuff that I'm gonna move out as soon as I take out all of my fall and winter stuff but this is like dresses and skirts all of my long things there and it goes all the way back there guys a lot of my winter stuff is back there and a lot of my like winter skirts and occasion dresses like sparkly stuff and new year stuff is back there i have a bunch of suitcases down there and this little plastic container it has summer stuff in it and this one has a few summer things as well in my bedroom i have two of these closets that are also full all right guys that is it that moving into the drawers i think those two bags that are there they don't need to be there i think after she declutters her bags she will have so much space to house those two bags that are inside of her drawers that she said that's where she keep her tiny tops and then she can keep all of her summer stuff inside of the drawer i think file folding will do her such wonders it's a great way to see all of your pieces even if they're tiny if they're just neatly folded same thing goes for the second drawers because she has to go through all the tops to find what's at the bottom if she file folds all of her tops she will have so much space that later on she can add more to the collection so those closet you know what her closet it's very beautiful and it's also like a closet organizer dream like I would love to come in and help her out to figure out a system that works for her and her lifestyle style because like I mentioned she is a creator so she has tons of stuff and it's completely understandable but I also think just a little bit of decluttering will do her so good so let's rate her closet in terms of functionality functionality means that it works its function is working well the function of her closet I think it is working she has the setup exactly how I would have it set up just a couple of tweaks here and there to better utilize those space and to have a properly organized closet in terms of functionality I'm gonna give her a 7 out of 10 but I'm also gonna give her a 7 out of 10 out of practicality because practicality means it's good and it's easy to use 
I think it is good and it's easy to use, but I think it just needs better organizational system. And the overall score, I am gonna give her a nine of 10. I think her closet is a dream closet. She loves her closet and therefore I love her closet. I think just a couple tweaks, I think that would do her so much wonders. Right, that's it for me. You tell me in the comment box below, what would you rate her closet in terms of functionality, practicality, as well as the overall score. And again, I'm gonna leave the full link of the video in the description box. Go to her channel, subscribe, like and watch our video and leave her a comment saying that I sent you because that would be so cool and thank you so much to Christina in color for recommending this video it was so much fun let me know what you guys want to see next as well as don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel like this video so youtube knows that I am doing something fun and it's gonna boost my video so more people get to see it as well head to my instagram and let me know when you're watching this video that would be super cool until next time I will see you guys on my next video bye